I'm here today with Yasmin to chat about Copro and hear some fantastic tips from her about how to explain co-production to people who are new to it. It involves potatoes, which I'll admit is a new approach to me. So I personally found it very hard to explain co-production. So I came up with this analogy, this potato analogy. So you get a bag of potatoes and you give one potato to each person in the room and you tell them, make something with it, create a dish with it, make something with it. But whatever you make, don't keep it to yourself. Bring it back to the table. So most probably no two person will say the same thing. And if they do, most probably it will be chips or mash or something. And that, just shows, how, <laughs> and that just shows common thinking, com you know, which mm -hmm. is fine. We, we do have common thinking. Um, and then what you do is once you go around the room and you ask people like, what would you bring to people? You know, it's amazing the ideas people come up with. Some would say mash chips, you get the regulars, but then you'll have a potato head, you'll get a hedgehog, or you'll get a potato stamp. So if you just think about all these things, rather than just keeping it to yourself, you bring it to the table and then you ask everyone, look at that table, tell me what you see. When you look at that table, that's when you realize that's co-production. You're creating a feast with everyone's ideas, but with the same material or the same product, same issue, same problem. But it's everyone else bringing it to the table with their own perspective, you know, and their, their perspective can come from uh, can come from their background, their race, their upbringing, their uh, psychology, you know, it's, it's, it's what you bring to the table that, it's, that is important. And, and do you tend to, to use this analogy right before lunch? So, 